24 feels like 14, 8, 12. Super Hits 103.7. Paulie and Decker joined in studio this morning by Quinn, Jared, Artemis, and Ron. Part of the drama club from Fenville High School. Morning, guys. How's everybody doing this morning? Pretty good. Doing good. Mm, you're up early, right? Yeah. <laughs> Back to school today after a day off yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, you've got a show coming up, and it's called Our Town, Thornton Wilder's Pulitzer Prize winning play in three acts, directed by Ron Bird. As mentioned, Ron is here, producer, director, and drama club sponsor, as well as uh, Quinn. You're the stage manager. Yep, and I basically set up every part of the play. I uh, sort of like a, sort of like a god entity. I kind of control everything. Set up. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us about the show. Well basically set in the early 1900s and it's about love life and death and life in the early 1900s i'm jared what part do you play i play george gibbs in the play he's i guess one of the leads in the actual part of the play quinn is more he breaks like the fourth dimension in the play he interacts with the audience and then i'm one of the main characters in the play okay you three are main characters right Mm -hmm. yeah that's true um how many players are there there are 18 cast members and there are 24 roles so we double up on a couple okay areas so some doubling up that happens artemis how about you what's your part i play emily webb she is also one of the main characters she's kind of naive but she just you know goes through life so all right it's good <laughs> Tell us about sets and scenery. Is is there a lot of scenery for the play? It's a very minimal play. We actually only have a few set pieces. We just painted the back wall of the stage white, so we're going to have a projector, so it's very interesting and not something that we've done before. What is one thing that you would want everyone to know about the show? Anybody? What do they got to walk away feeling after they've seen this show? Wow, this I think this would be the first time that I actually seen these kids not have anything to say. Um, I, I would say with, when we talked about being a Pulitzer Prize award-winning play, um, I've talked to a lot of people in the community, and they said, "Oh, we've seen that back in high school, and we really, really enjoyed it." It's really a hard play to uh, explain, mm-hmm. especially in a nutshell. But it, it's about life. It's about. Uh, uh, people falling in love and what happens at the end of life. I've talked with people who have went to Fenville back in the 60s and they did this play and I've even met one of the guys that's actually that did my role, George, yeah. back in like 62. So, th- I mean, there's a lot of people that are expecting a lot of things from this play just from past experiences with it. How big is your drama club? 18 members. Okay. All right. Why drama club? Why'd you guys get involved in this? Well, personally for me, I've always loved theater, and it's something I've wanted to continue like through college. And I just personally love being someone else that I'm not and getting to explore different worlds and sets and just roles. And it's really fun because we kind of become like a little family it's like we're not together all the time but we do have weekend practices and practices all week so we get to spend a lot of time with each other yeah you build some good friendships that way that's for sure anybody anything else you want to share about the drama club ron i do real quick god how long have i known you paul my name's rob <laughs> <laughs> what i call you ron you call me you've been calling me ron for years oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this earlier. I'm like, am I going to get him on air or not? <laughs> well, apologies for that then, I guess. Oh, no worries. Rob. It's better to be, I guess, yes. to uh, know who I am than to not know my name. But Absolutely. You're not the first. <laughs> um, what I would just tell people is, you know what? I've got probably the best group of kids, I think, in the school. I mean, obviously, there's some good other kids who do other stuff. But we we spend as much time doing what we do as a sports team. And we don't get the same recognition. We don't get the same um, funding, typically. So we do a lot of fundraising. We do everything ourselves. The crew, I mean, the technical part, we do it all ourselves. And that's what one of the things that I'm really proud of with these kids because not only do they just come out and act, they also have to know where the sets need to go, when they need to do it, and, uh, you know, our technical, the sound effects and everything else. And, and this is a great group of kids, and I love them all. All right. Fenville Drama Club. 
Our Town. Horton Wilder's Pulitzer Prize winning play will be March 18th, 19th, and just a couple of shows, just two shows? Is that right? We or have you, you a, got a matinee, matinee as well. Matinee yeah. on the 19th. So you got three shows. Evening performance. Okay. Tickets are available where? You can pick them up at the office at Fenville High School, or you can find a drama club member. And then they're also available at the door the night of the performance. And they're pretty cheap tickets, too. Yep. Looks like mm-hmm. five bucks for adults and uh, the matinee's $3. So. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, anything else we need to know about Thornton Wilder's Our Town with the Fenville Drama Club? You just kind of have to come out and see it. It's really hard to explain, but it's a really good play. Okay, March 18, 19. And again, that is at the Sheehan Auditorium at Fenville High School. Okay, guys. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. (laughs) Thanks, Quinn, Jared, Mm -hmm. and Artemis. Guys, have a great day at school. And uh, we'll see you at the show, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. 818. Thanks to the uh, kids from Fenville for being with us this morning here. Super Hits 103.7, Cozy FM 819.